we are now ready for the spectral theorem, which says that if we let A be an N by N real matrix, then matrix A is symmetric when it is orthogonally diagonalizable. Now, this theorem is called the spectral theorem since the set of eigenvalues of a matrix is sometimes called the spectrum of a matrix. So to help us better understand this, let's consider the following fun connection. So keep in mind that the word spectrum is a Latin word meaning image. When atoms vibrate, they emit light. When white light passes through a prism, it spreads out into a spectrum or a band of rainbow colors. So let's suppose that we have a prism and some source of white light. And we want to keep in mind that this white light embodies all frequencies or all energies. Now, as the white light passes through our prism, it spreads out into the resulting spectrum, which we call a rainbow or a continuous spectrum. Now, the word continuous is a result of all frequencies or all energies. Now, we want to make the note that since there exists infinitely many colors in a rainbow, that each hue corresponds to an eigenvalue. Or in other words, there are infinitely many eigenvalues for our resulting spectrum the vibration frequencies correspond to the eigenvalues of a certain operator or a matrix and are visible as bright lines in the spectrum of light emitted by our prism. In other words, this is saying that we can literally see the eigenvalues of an atom in its resulting spectrum. How cool is that? So let's now continue making fun connections and exploring the spectral theorem with the following examples.